In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Google Suggest in a little bit more powerful way than what's readily available. First, what is Google Suggest? Well, go to Google, start typing something, and if your preferences are set such, uh, Google will start to autofill in what they think you are looking for. So let's start with digital camera. And you notice it's got a few other options besides just that. that Google thinks that you're looking for. So there's four options right there. So I could then down arrow and select which one I want and get information, obviously get results from that. So that's a good start and that's all it really is. Now here's something a little more advanced. Say you want to look for digital cameras, but you want to look for digital cameras for something. For kids, for them, for sale, for children. You could just simply fill in or type in more letters. What if I type the letter A? Well, they come back with accessories, Amazon as webcam, AA batteries, B, buying guide. Do you see where I'm going with this? So Google gives you some information based on what you're typing in. It's trying to anticipate what you're thinking. Now, it's a good start. I've taken that a little bit farther and automated a whole bunch of that stuff. So if I come here and type digital, camera and click on submit I bet get back 89 results not the four that I showed you previously so what it does is it gives you the first 10 results reviews camera ratings all these and then it expands on each of the first 10 results so for instance digital camera reviews right here gets expanded right here ratings get expanded right here so it gives you a lot more depth than the initial query at google.com so that's one thing using digital cameras again let's try before this one I don't really like but I just put it in as an option if I type in submit what it will do this time is it will take digital camera and put the letter each letter of the alphabet prior to that and gives you back what it says. So here's the letter A, the ten, first 10 results. And then it does B. And really, I don't think this is all that great. Um, B, digital camera, really isn't what people are searching for. A better one is after. So in other words, it follows digital camera A, digital camera B, etc. So when I do this, I get 260 results and this one makes a lot more access, uh, sense so here's digital camera with the letter A accessories as webcam AA batteries this is what people are looking for there's the B's right there buying guide brands basics Best Buy so if you're looking for information on what people are actually looking for this is one way to do it type in your subject matter select after and I'll continue the idea and see what's there. Now a little bit more uh, specific was if I type in digital camera I could, I could put digital camera 4 but I've also made it just an option. So this will do digital camera 4 and then A through Z. So let's see what happens there. So digital camera 4 action shots. Again there's the A's for a 7 year old, an 8 year old, or here's the letter B's etc and then one more option on this line is with so this time it'll be digital camera with followed by every letter of the alphabet you get back 247 unique results digital camera with AA batteries so this is kind of a let's call it an idea generator not necessarily a keyword generator but an idea generator this is what people are looking for when they type in digital camera digital camera with effects, digital camera with external mic jack, etc. Now you could also, and I'm just going to use the default, you can also include the count, basically the number of results available when you do that. So it's comma separated, which means you can put it into a spreadsheet, you can sort or do whatever you want. So there it is, digital camera reviews, there's, what's that, 261 million results. So that's just another option that can be applied to any of these other options up here. Okay, so how do you get this? Well, here, provide your name, email, 
and add to cart. So what you need to do now is simply download the zip file. It includes a uh, PHP script that you're going to put on your computer. I'm going to save off that file called googsuggest.zip. So logging to your website server. Uh, where are we? We want to go to the control panel section that has the file manager. Okay. You want to upload. And if I look for Google Suggest, there it is. Open it. So it says it's complete, small file. Go find it. Let me see if I can find the name here. Google Suggest. Yeah, sorry, I've scrunched up the screen a little bit. There it is. Let's expand it or extract it. So in your root directory, there's a file called googsuggest.php. And then we just type that into the URL bar here. And it's ready to run on your site. There we go. So that's how you get your hands on this Google Suggest uh, script. That's it.